is VIG, otherwise known as Big Papa or as I personally refer to him as uh, Big Daddy. Right. It's a way of flesh in order to grow. He can completely recover from near destruction as long as he reaches some source of energy to feed on. His ability to absorb stun energy makes it near indestructible to stun attacks, but what if his stun didn't do the attacking? It's coronavirus! Purple Haze is an unstable stun that contains a particularly deadly flesh-eating virus in his capsule on his hands. When Purple Haze punches something, the virus is released and it surrounds the stun as a cloud of purple... well, haze. The virus rapidly multiplies within the victim's body, overriding the metabolic functions and makes them rot from the inside. Rereading the Notorious BRG fight, we could see that Big not only needs a constant source of energy to feed on, but also at least a few seconds to completely regenerate. If we theoretically could calculate the amount of time needed for the virus to break down big cells and melt them into spunk on the fucking floor, then we could, in theory, determine the hypothetical fight between these two stands, and that is exactly what I did. <laughs> Fuck. We see the effects of the virus on an adult human body when a loser experienced instrumentality and was melted into organic goo within just 30 seconds or so. However, we early see that the virus can complete the killer crow in just a couple of seconds. So from this, we could determine that the virus takes a different amount of time to kill the infected depending on the size and mass of the target. And comparing the crow's mass and size to that of a human, along with Notorious B.I.G. himself, then we could roughly calculate how fast the virus would spread when infecting B.I.G. Yes, it's too in-depth research time. The easy part comes in determining the size of the crow, well, since it's common knowledge, <laughs> of course, that the average crow is about 17 inches or 43 centimeters. The hard part is determining the mass of the crow, since we don't know what type of crow is being seen in Pompeii right here. However, since this is a crow from Giorgio, being quite generous and adding the big muscular crow biceps into the calculation, then the average weight of a weeb crow residing in Pompeii would be around 1 pound or just below 500 grams. Aluso is taller than the average Italian man, and yes, I did look that up, being 6'2 or 188 centimeters. And if we kept the strict pasta diet in mind during our calculations, which I obviously did, the average Italian mafioso would weigh around 180 to 200 pounds or 80 to 90 kilograms. And if the virus took around 30 seconds to fully infect his body, then we would have a rather accurate benchmark to compare our final results to. And finally, it's time to figure out Big's measurements, which would be pretty difficult since he has the ability to enlarge himself in a fight. His grow is rather slow though, so even if he's able to grow himself, then the virus would likely outpace his strict fast food diet. Comparing Big's size when we see him for the first time, we can determine that it would be around a similar size to that of the crow that we saw being killed by the virus, if only just a tiny bit bigger. And adding up our previous calculations of both Aluso and the crow's size, and taking into account the probability of Big being able to enlarge himself in some sort of way before even being infected, my very, 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 very generous estimate of how large Notorious Big would be would be around 38 inches or 90 centimeters. Very generous. Big has force, but he's not very heavy, as we can see when he's eating away at Jono's arm, the fat bastard, being around 20 pounds or just over 10 kilograms. Comparing the time the virus spread for the crow being around 4 seconds or so, and we also have Elusu's average time till infection in mind, then I can determine that the virus would spread throughout Big's body within just 13 seconds, holy sh! Even with my very generous estimate, Big would be infected and die very very quickly, not being able to regenerate faster than the virus destruction time. So is it really that simple? Would Purple Haze really be such a definitive victor? Well, there are really just two alternatives and counter arguments that I can think about here, so uh, I'll just try to discuss them now to clear it up as much as I can. And if you can think of anything else, then do please tell me in the comments, I actually do read them sometimes. The first is that the fight is highly dependable on the environment where it takes place, since, for example, an enclosed pressurized container, like coincidentally a plane, would be very dangerous for Fugo and probably kill him instead of B.I.G. Therefore, depending on the place where this fight goes down, many different factors are at play. However, since I think about these stand showdowns through as much of a neutral perspective as I can, I put no favour to either side, I always think of an open area or something like that when determining a victor, except in cases where one side would be beneficial with another alternative. Like, for example, uh, sticky fingers would be highly effective in an enclosed space like a town, rather than an open grassy plain. 
In those cases, I simply play out the fight in different environments and see which one would win in which, and from that, determine which stand was overall most effective, which obviously is not possible in this video. The second alternative, which is probably more of a point in discussion, uh, is whether Big would even be infected and killed in the first place, since the virus is only affecting and killing organisms. Big is a quote unquote a dead stand, so whether it can kill them is up to debate. However, I think, at least, since we see Big feel some sort of pain when getting his ass beat by a spicy woman, god I can't wait for flaccid panky. Anyways, he at least screams or something like that, um, so I at least stand by the argument of him having organic life without organs. Yeah. He is a stand birth from death, not undead himself. Or at least he's not the same stand as he was before his user got shot, since in, at least in the manga we see the humanoid form of him before Kane gets lit the fuck up by telling Ryuji. Other than these arguments, I don't really see any way of Purple Haze not winning. It is really the one of the strongest stands in Jojo for a reason. And Purple Haze feedback would entirely negate one of these arguments, so uh, yeah, it's, it's clear to me at least. And yeah, I think that's it. I hope you enjoyed what I tried to do with today's video. Uh, I enjoyed making it, which I think is the most important part of it. Um, oh yeah, I forgot. So, I got another fun fact. So, the idea of Notorious B.I.G. activating after the user's death might be a reference to Notorious B.I.G.'s album Life After Death, which as a hip-hop fan is fucking awesome. I know most stands have cool referential works like this, but I don't really care, I'm, I think that Biggie is way better. Uh, sorry for my fanboying, but Araki really did his homework as always. Uh, and with that, I really have nothing else. Uh, I'm, I'm out. See you next time, homie. Yes, the shit is real coming at your door. You start to scream out loud. Who changed back to